welcome to my second digital adventure uh, my second digital adventure is about second life second life is a internet based virtual world where people can interact with each other via avatars and also they can explore the world um, the virtual world they can make friendship uh, with other avatars and they can build a virtual object and even exchange uh, goods uh, object and services so I I log in after I log into uh, the second life uh, application um, it's open my last um, location in the second life with my avatar uh, actually in the beginning when I when my first time using uh, second life I was lost a little bit um, but what helped me a lot is uh, exploring the menus so uh, this is the interface and here is the avatars uh, avatars uh, you can change your avatar and here the clothes and uh, search for places in the second life and so on um, in the second life you can walk run or fly as you hear can walk or run or fly I enjoy using second life um, I think for beginner it will be different, uh, difficult in the beginning but after they getting used uh, getting familiar with it it will be very exciting and motivating especially for students I can interact with every object in the second life I will stop flying now I think it will be easier to navigate with mouse than the touchpad. Uh, I don't know, but it's depend. I can, like, for example, here I can go and sit with for on the chair. I just click on the chair and right click, and then I will uh, choose sit here. So I know. Now I'm sitting. To stand, I just click here, stand. Um, okay. What I found it's uh, interesting is to go to different uh, libraries in the virtual world. For example, if we want to go for like uh, for Ohio University, for example. Uh, I click on the search and then uh, here in the search tab I will write Ohio University and I will choose places and search. Mm -hmm. This is the Ohio University teleport to take me there teleport or fly to explore um, I can change the sun by make it more shiny like midday uh, to make the vision better this is Ohio University in Second Life. So 
So what I think um, Second Life will be helpful is uh, to uh, to use it in the classroom. What I think uh, Second Life helpful in classroom, uh, I think it uh, enables students to learn with high level of interaction with each other with each other avatars they can chat um, and um, I think it's very motivated and very engaging um, and I think it's uh, reduced the lonely feeling that associate with online learning um, how the instructor or teacher can use it they can use the actual um, built-in libraries actually there is a page in the, um, in the second live website about how to use uh, second life in education it help uh, to to use places in second life that already built in instead of building from scratch also another thing uh, it can be used to, uh, for the student to build stuff it will give them uh, the meaning of uh, of uh, creation and uh, um, they help them to be creative and the feeling of accomplishment I found interesting Stanford library and I will do teleport so this is the Stanford I will this is Stanford library I think it's slow a little bit I think it's been on the computer and also um, also um, the internet connection so I will stop flying now The first herb was city. I think this is more like a gallery. More than one language. I think it's interesting tool um, to use in classroom uh, I think of course it, uh, it need be to plan well but it's I think it's a good tool a good technology that motivate a student with different um, levels uh, because I think uh, also uh, enable student to make connection between uh, abstract co concept and understand the basic theories and uh, make them give them the freedom to make mistakes without uh, the risk of um, like lowering of their self-esteem this is my uh, digital adventure I hope you find it interesting and uh, thank you